basically, between 1800 and 1803, we try to blockade Tripoli to no effect because the Barbary states are all working together because we don't have enough ships to blockade that port. And so there's sort of a standstill. There's a series of actions, but nothing incredibly exciting until 1803 when the Philadelphia is chasing a Tripolitan ship into the harbor of Tripoli. And apparently the captain and his um, navigator, David Porter, is the navigator. Captain William Bainbridge is the captain. Apparently they don't have a very good map of the Tripolitan harbor, and they run the ship aground on a reef that the Tripolitan ship would have had um, knowledge of. It's the largest ship in the Navy at that time, and William Bainbridge tries to save the ship by throwing everything he can find off the ship. So they're unloading cannon, they're throwing it into the water. He's trying to get the ship to lift so it will free from the reef, but he's not able to free the ship. So the Tripolitans capture, capture the ship, they capture the crew of about 307 men, and they take them into the city of Tripoli and put them in a prison, and then they use the American men to refit the Philadelphia to use as their own warship, because the next day, the Tripolitans are able to free the ship from the reef and bring that ship into their harbor. So that's a very difficult situation for the Americans. They have, the Tripolitans have managed to catch, capture the largest ship in the Navy. They've got 307 hostages to work with. In 1805, we, reach, we, we sign a treaty with Tripoli, and it's really through that, that treaty dipla diplomatically that things are, are solved. Um, William Eaton, who is a consul or an American diplomat in Tunis, is extremely aggravated that we're paying money to pirates. So he pitches a plan to the president that we should take land forces into Tripoli. So we have the Navy working, we'll have Marines in Tripoli, and we'll be able to take the country. And William Eaton convinces the Bashaws, the, the leader of Tripoli's brother, Hammett, to work with us. Eaton and about 200 Marines and several thousand um, Tripolitan Berbers, all kinds of people who flocked to that banner of Hammett, um, do in fact have this long dramatic march through Tripoli and are able to stake out the city of Derna. And they're holding that city, and William Eaton believes that they're holding it successfully, but there are thousands and thousands of Tripolitans surrounding them, and the Bashaw is just sending some of his professional soldiers down there. So it looks very bad for him. Meanwhile, Tobias Lear has been sent over to make final negotiations. And he agrees to pay $60,000 to free those American sailors who have been captured, including William Bainbridge, and signs a favored nation treaty with, with the Bashaw that includes um, basically presents, which are tribute payments, but they call them presents. So from an American point of view, it looks like he's arranged a, a treaty that does not include tribute. But from the Bashaw's point of view, he expects those presents, and to him, it's tribute. 